Street Hall. So I'm not going to put it in the over there. I mean, I personally could, but... <laughs> Coffee at half past 11 at night can only mean one thing, and that is a clear night. And your boy Ruz here has got a plan. Tonight, it's all about the comet Neowise, of course. Now you may have seen a few photos of Neowise kicking around and that's because it's a bright sucker and it's really close. It's a naked eye comet. I saw it this morning at half past two when I was taking my girlfriend to the airport. It is, it's one of the most beautiful things I've seen. It was so impressive to see. And that was through heavy LED street lighting because uh, Neowise is near Capella at the minute and for where I live in the United Kingdom, Capella is very, very low and Neowise is even lower. So I need an um, um, um. so I need an unobstructed northern view. I don't have that in my garden. I don't want to use an industrial estate at the end of the street in the middle of town with my camera as a foreground element. So what I did was run onto Google Maps and found a water reservoir about 15 minutes away. That's right. Astrophotography is going on the road for eight miles. So that's the plan. I'm gonna take my 80D, which I'm filming on right now. Uh, I'm probably gonna to have to take the 600D as my backup camera. So if this video gets really pink all of a sudden, you know why, or I might try and use my phone, whatever. I'm gonna take the tripod, maybe a flash, if I wanna paint the landscape, a head torch, intervalometer, the 18 to 55 lens I'm using at the minute, and maybe the 50 millimeter 1.8 prime, the nifty 50, just in case I want to do something else. Now, hopefully the reservoir and a lake or something is gonna make a much nicer uh, foreground element than urban. So that's the plan. I'm gonna take a couple of cameras, a couple of lenses, maybe a flash, intervalometer. I might take the Sky Guider Pro, I've not decided yet. A head torch, and I'm gonna fully charge my phone because quite frankly, you can never be too prepared. But yeah, at uh, 2 a.m. I'm going to sally forth and head out to this site. Try and get a picture of Comet Neowise if the weather forecast holds. Wish me luck. Can't believe I'm drinking coffee this late. really dark here. Yeah, the, there's a bit of water there, but the footpath is there that goes around the north. Uh, I think that's Capella over there. Can't get it on camera. And then underneath Capella would be Neowise. There's not a lot to be seen. It's just a head torch at the minute. <laughs> this is interesting. So I arrived at a good spot here. I can see Neowise up over there nice bit of lake in front of us and uh, time to get shooting I think get the ATD going you want to see something cool that is Capella if we go down there that's near wise at f1.8 with a 50 millimeter lens and a modified 600d and also then I've got this camera down here have a look at that. <laughs> look at that. I'm so happy with that. Obviously the foreground is blown out because I've got my headlamp on, but I can always do the foreground later. I'm more concerned about the sky at this time. But that's so good. Right. I'm gonna my ATD has a built-in interval timer. Turn off the live view, make sure the camera's level. And then I'm going to enable. Oh, wait, I need to turn off the two second delay. <laughs> turn off the two second delay. Interval time enabled. 
Off we go. <laughs> Man, it looks so good in this. Look at that. Is that the filter coming? Yeah, this is the lacquer filter. So it's like, it picks up a lot of reds, doesn't it? Mm-hmm, because it's, it's more sensitive to infrared. Oh, okay. I think the comment looks cool in that over the trees and the way it is. Got an ISS flyover as well. Have near ways wasn't bad, was good enough. Got the moon over there. With Mars as well. And then to the south. That is Jupiter and Saturn is next to it, but this camera's not picking it up. So it came to this lake, uh, lake bed. I've gangplanked Luke into being cameraman because I'm using, I only bought one tripod like a noob. Um, yeah, so the camera's over there, the ATD is over there doing its thing. I'm doing like 10 or 13 second exposures at ISO 500, I want to say, I can't remember now. And we've managed to actually get the reflection of the comet into the lake. It is absolutely insane. Um, there's some clouds ruining in play right now, but I've got the shot I wanted. And from now it's just like compositing, illuminating the foreground and the lake, and then just putting it all together. But oh, it's been such a good evening. Had an ISS fly by. I can see Mars, uh, Mars over there with the moon, Venus, not Venus. <laughs> I'm getting too excited. Saturn and Jupiter. Oh, it's just so good at the minute. Um, we had to park where a place was, said no parking, but you know, it's like three o'clock in the morning at the minute, so should be fine. But there was some beautiful light coming. You can just see, I think it's, it's almost like the sun is rising, even though I'm looking at north. There's some beautiful orange light up there. And oh, it's, it's been a really good night. Yeah, I'll show you a few of the trial shots we were taking. Um, just, just a good one. It's been a really fun night. And like, Luke the trooper is here. He's got to go to work soon. <laughs> I don't. The joys of working nine to five, Monday to Friday, I guess. But yeah, we even saw the Milky Way. And that's crazy. But as you can see, there's all this lighting on us now. Uh, so. Yeah, just hoping, I'm gonna wait out and see a bit. If some of these clouds become not pollution clouds, that'll just top off the night. But for now, I think we'll probably just put the cameras down and enjoy ourselves now. And uh, I'll pick this up when I'm back at home. Thanks very much for watching everybody. Hope you have clear skies. Keep looking up, keep them cameras clicking. See you later.